But we here with our first guest. We listen to WKMT DB, the Great L Film. Young Bray, what's going on? Hey, not too much, man. How you doing? Thanks for having me today. Appreciate it. Yeah, everything copacetic, yeah. ain't nothing. Yeah, you know. Yeah, come on to the show. Get that mm-hmm. Canadian bacon on the show. <laughs> Canada, Canada dry. Female, boy. Yeah, we got it. We got Canada in the building. You know, y'all didn't know it's called female bacon. Female bacon, mm-hmm. yeah, but you, you know what it's called down here, Canadian bacon. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And it tastes good, bro. Yeah, damn sure do. That's the best bacon to put on the pizza, Canadian's bro. Canadian's the best, yeah. man. That shit nice as it. I, I, I enjoy America a lot. Yeah, I like it. So, what made you get into music? How long you been doing music? I'm doing music since I was 15, so that would be like eight years. Mm-hmm. Eight years. Um, like I was doing this, like. Uh, singing and stuff like that before that but nothing serious and i started taking it serious when i was mm. 15 that's when i started making music and actually recording in studios and stuff like that yeah and yeah since then of it's been a grind man so you know as artists know it's a long road to get where you want and you know master your craft and get to a certain point where you know you feel extremely comfortable with right now anything right anything, right so yeah yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, I done heard some of your music. You know, you be um, I done heard all your music, <laughs> but <laughs> you um, you definitely got a range on you. Yeah. Like, you touch on different different ranges. Well, I try to. I yeah. mean, it's definitely not. You know, I don't know how to word this the best, but I think that it's definitely uh, you know, it's it's valuable. It's valuable to learn and take from every single part of the game, like mm-hmm. in every single like aspect of rap music and pop music and and uh, you know you know the music game is changing right now so it's uh it's really fun to like take aspects of everything and fucking yeah you know li- try everything step outside the box and if Get it's a good song it. then you then you fucking push that shit you get it going right so yeah but you gotta try it you gotta you never try know unless you try man you gotta try whatever bro mm-hmm. especially you know in, if in front of different crowds if everybody gonna fuck with it you know Mm-hmm. Oh, for everybody that don't know, Young Bray is. We have a song in rotation by him already. What is it called? It's not Pussy on My Face. It's called anymore. Shake. It's, it's called shake. shake. It's Shake. It was called Pussy yeah. on My Face, but for, yeah, for family are, reasons, family, family yeah. reasons, we changed it to Shake. P O M F. P O M F. After Man, that. the name of that song, Put That Pussy on My Face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. But um, we, 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 we had that song in rotation since John Rise came on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, John Rise brought that, brought that on. Shout John. out there, boy. It's my boy John. Yeah, oh, yeah. Y'all His voice on that. that is tight too, man. Yeah, he snapped. Both of y'all snapped. On yeah, that. that's a sick song. Yeah, yeah, if y'all check out the video on YouTube, if anyone's checked out the video on YouTube, that's uh, not seen. You it's just going like crazy. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. still yeah. going up too, but uh, gotta make make sure that shit keeps going, man. So everyone go check that shit out. Shake, Young Bray on YouTube, uh, Young Bray on all platforms. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Appreciate it. Young Bray on all platforms. On all platforms and uh, Bray official on um, on Instagram actually because someone took the Young Bray name. Yeah. I'm gonna try and get it back. Yeah, so. <laughs> I'm trying to get. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to get in the clouds, bro. I'm trying to get in the clouds. The the handle. Mm-hmm. I even messaged the person to get in the clouds, but I don't think they've been on Instagram since 2011. I offered the kid that has Young Bray money. <laughs> at least you got a. At least you got a response, but I ain't getting no response. Ago, I offered him money like probably two years ago. He said yeah, and then a day later he's like, you know what? I make music too, and I'm a creator, and I'm gonna keep. This Wait, game. where you at now, young bray? We gonna go look Google. We gonna go on Instagram and see what the fuck he doing. Yeah, for real. If you ain't doing nothing, young bray. <laughs> my dog, young bray, need the young bray. Uh, no, he doesn't. It don't look like he got anything. Man. He just like has yeah. Pictures. I looked him up already, y'all. Like an artist. You know how people are on Instagram, man. Everyone yeah. thinks that they're a fucking rock star, bro. It's, it's mm. life, though. It is. It is what it is. He has the name, but he doesn't have it. Like I mean, right, he can't do anything that. with it. I have the name on every other platform. Right. Yeah. So I mean, I've kind of like monopolized. All you that gotta shit. do is uh, trade market. I'm pretty sure he can do that. Yeah. And once you do that, I guess we'll f- you'll figure something out. It's a wrap, then. Excuse me, mm. but um. Uh, what time is it? No, oh, excuse me. We're gonna get in, We're gonna get into the first track. Yo, I was at the video. We're gonna play Shake first since we already got in rotation. But uh I was at the video for Shake and it was a it was a movie. It was dope. 
Yeah. Th- this guy, like, he ain't want to grab the girl booty, though. <laughs> I was being very respectful. You're being gentleman. I was being mad respectful. Did she tell you that before? Yeah. No, but, no, she didn't. Everybody, er, everybody in the room, including the girls, like, you know, you can grab my ass. <laughs> wow, yo, bro, what the fuck? Hold up, hold up. He a gentleman, though. First, she thanked me. She thanked me. She did do that. I seen. And then when I did grab her ass later, she, like, she definitely took, like, a different, like, uh, to the whole situation she was like oh shit once we started talking about okay yo you can grab her ass and I'm like now I'm gonna <laughs> it made it look a lot worse my dog my dog a <laughs> gentleman <laughs> what you talking about like hey don't me too me bitch excuse yeah. me madam it it, yeah, it excuse me madam can I, I put my hand on your buttocks and you your booty your <laughs> booty is maximus, booty is maximus. <laughs> <laughs> excuse me madam <laughs> excuse me madam all the girls in that video were bad though yeah all yeah. them little yeah. babies yeah. and they got the, the workout booties workout booties the workout booties not the BBL but the workout booties that was the thing with the cat Casting too, that was important, man. The workout booties because of the the boxing video, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, if anyone knows yeah, yeah. Somewhat. Um, Shout out to um Dada Five Thousand for the um the location. Gym. Mm-hmm. That guy, he uh he invented the trigon. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you've seen that stuff, but I mean it's a, it's a yeah, triangular just, boxing ring. He he just got a good legal um. There's only three corners, man. There's not not many places to go. <laughs> you seen um he was suing he was suing somebody about using his shit yeah. and it's moving on along good in the court system because they tried to take his um patent because it's a triangle. Yeah. Like, you, don't, you ain't never seen no triangle before. I ain't realizing until he was telling us. I'm like, yeah, ain't never been no triangle ring before. Well, it ain't really Dude, the, the announcers for his show are like from ESPN and stuff, yeah. man. Like from real. Like, we need to get that boy on the shit. show, like, man. Dot yeah, five, nah. Absolutely, man. You guys got to get him. Bare on. knuckle, bare knuckle fighter. But anyway, we about to get into Young Bray Shake. Hey. Hey. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get it. Okay. Yep. Hey, Hello. you are listening Yo. to WKMTDB, the Greater Film. We're here guys. with our guest, Young Bray. We're going to get that handle, Young Bay from Canada. Oh. Canada. Canada Dry. <laughs> I love how that's so prominent, but it is, man. Drake made that prominent, man. He really did. For real. Yeah. Well, coming from Canada means something to a lot of people out here for some reason. Uh, it does, though. When you're, doing some, when you're doing music, people will be like, oh, you, you're from you came Canada? from here man, to do... I can't stand when y'all there. come here because y'all... <laughs> Y'all bring up all the traffic. Yeah, man, we be tired of y'all motherfuckers hey, down here. Bro. New Yorkers. What are you talking about? Q, from Q, you, you get the Q back. The whole yeah. country, the whole country, all 40, no, 50 other states all come here for vacation. And you're worried about... Yeah, cause nah. Q, Q back. No, <laughs> no, no. Nah, you misunderstand. <laughs> you might have put some shit in perspective. Nah, nah, he, no. Can you put it in perspective? Because the ones from Quebec, they been here for months. So let, look, they, look, they, they don't, they, they not vacationing. They, 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 they have a house down here. <laughs> as soon as I hear some French, I'm like, oh yeah, these one Quebec. Well, we all went to South Beach that one day, mm. and there was nobody from like real South. Beach. The people that were from oh, yeah, Miami not, were working. Yeah. That's it. Everybody like was from would. everywhere. And we were on the street asking people where they were from. That was spring break. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that was spring break. Yeah. You know, but still, you know, like, it's it's, like, it's spring break all the time. So how how is being from Canada affecting you, like, having to work down here? It's fun, man. I get to leave the cold in the wintertime, and I freaking get the energy of coming down to Florida. And, uh, you know, the reason that I'm down here. You know, like I got to work with some greats and, you know, get some, you know. Yeah, really, you need to let the people really know what's good, going uh, on with you. Who you signed to? Cash Money Records, man. Oh, okay. okay. So I get to work with some really good talent, obviously. And, mm-hmm. you know, got some great mentors and just get to learn the game in a different way. And it's uh, it's much more inspiring to leave the country and, mm-hmm. you know, be out here trying to do something for myself in a different place away from my family and my friends and all the you know, accommodations that most people have in life that, you know, you get to see your people, right? So, yeah. Yep. You, run, you run see my cousin right here, man. Chase something, bro, and, like, that's that's what I'm doing. That's what, I, that's, that's what it's about. Yeah, but you got to get the money, man. Mm-hmm. You can't – I'll be telling people this, the 9 to 5 situation or having a regular job, but I ain't even the move no more. The way the pri- the way the prices is, and man. unless you went to school and actually had like a good like education to get like a solid solid job somewhere, if you even could, right? Because mm. it's hard to get a job in the first place, even when you have all the education in the world. But, yep. I mean, that's that's your best chance. A right? lot of people not even working in the field. They, they if you're not into the new generation of you know 
getting on the internet and making a quick dollar or freaking you, you're fucked mm-hmm. unless you want to do labor yeah Straight i ain't up. trying to do no and, labor uh, work. at some point labor is going to be taken over by by robots, robots. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be and then you can't like once you get to a certain age you can't do labor jobs. and the only pe- <laughs> and the only people that are going to be doing work are going to be like old guys that are retired at their houses that still do like woodwork in their garages and stuff like that <laughs> and they're going to be like selling their like old antique furniture that's going to be brand new it's just nothing's going to be made of wood anymore they're just going to be selling that. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be Fiber like polymer. Mad expensive. Yeah, this, for real. <laughs> that looks like wood grain. I see it already, man. I can see it. It's going to happen. It's going to be wild. Well, yeah. What are you looking at? No, don't worry about that. We on radio right now. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> we on the radio right now. Don't worry about that. Yeah, you forgot. Yeah, I ain't forget, I ain't man. <laughs> you on there talking. You worry about what's in my phone, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> Oh, just so, so y'all know, me and Bray, we friends, so we talk to each other a little crazy on it. Yeah. <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't like I'm talking to the guest rude. Fuck this guy. <laughs> hey, man. This is my a dog. History, bro. We have a history, bro. <laughs> this is my motherfucking dog. KB's bro. got a way with words, bro. It's all yeah, good. Yeah, all right. about, <laughs> <laughs> hey, before we started the show, I was uh, FaceTiming somebody, and she was like, um, uh, she want me to come on, uh, what's that shit called, Prescott? Clubhouse. Clubhouse. Yeah, she wanted me to come on Clubhouse, but she was like, but you know how you are. You know, you like to keep it real with people and stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, you might need to, like, you. Wait. <laughs> He's, like, tone it down. Is that where everybody gets in, like, a group chat? Yeah. And yeah, then yeah. All the, everyone mutes themselves, right? Mm-hmm. And then, yeah. like, one person talks. That yeah. shit seems demeaning as hell to me. But I don't understand. <laughs> when, she, when we were talking about it, like, bro, I don't understand the concept because, like, just like you say, is like is one person can talk at a time. Everybody can't be talking it it's over a, each it's other. A, yeah. It's a it's a one hundred member debate team, mm. debate session, session, bro. Mm. That's what it really is, bro. That sounds insane. Everybody nah, voice their opinion. That actually there. sounds fun. Now nah, yeah. she was saying that it was like uh like a networking situation where yeah. people promote your shit if you talk to them about it. Yeah, mm. but you nah. probably talk to people out there in front of a bunch of people, and you know whoever fuck with you or like what you're doing probably. Mm-hmm. Directly messages you, right? Everybody has. Perks. You got Clubhouse? Mm-mm. Oh, you do. I'm gonna get it oh, now. You though. ain't got no mic though. We can't now, talk to you. I've been seeing a lot of you talking, talking for. <laughs> okay, we uh. I'm finna host the Clubhouse after this, there. guys. Everybody, tune you in. got Clubhouse? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna download it. <laughs> <laughs> You know, download it just no, so you I'm can download know. it. Wait, so they be so having these signups, bro. You can have that shit done in like three. Anyone that's anyone that's listening. And I'm gonna get that. Yeah. And Anyone that's listening, I'm gonna download a clubhouse after. We'll have a clubhouse together. Mm-hmm. Be lit. I'm gonna join. I'm gonna see what it's about real quick. We gonna run it. We gonna run the whole thing. Mm-hmm. We're just gonna keep the show going. Hey. Clubhouse. <laughs> we gotta we gotta talk about how um, shit got about two hundred views, two hundred thousand views. We said that already. That was on the air. We said that. We said that. In yeah. a month. Yeah. In a month, bro. Right, right that shit got mind. motion right now. Yeah, that's like my first. That's my first debut. That's my debut. You know, it's the first thing I've really like had a lot of energy about, bro. And I'm super excited to just you know, push some more. Obviously, this record, but I'm, I'm really anticipating to you know do do bigger with the next one. So I'm super yeah. excited to just keep pushing. Just uh, it's, a, it's a great for, it's a great starter, man. Mm-hmm. It's a great kickoff into the start of the summer. I mean, it's spring right now. Mm-hmm. I got some records for summertime. And um, yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, you got to wait and see. Obviously, I can't talk too much about everything, but well, yeah, you're gonna yeah, hear, we're gonna hear gonna some hear pre-release it. stuff. You know, some unreleased music today, right? Mm-hmm. The, you know. Oh, we ain't on release music today. Yeah, oh, we, we got a couple songs. Hey, we that underground, we bro. that underground that plug. Underground. You heard me in the cloud. In the cloud, we be getting that cloud, exclusive dude. every yeah. week. We get that exclusive for somebody. You know? <laughs> <laughs> every week, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, well, hey, no, this not even out yet. Your oh, mindset right. changes when you're in the cloud. Yeah, it, they like it. They, this is a moment. This is your moment. If you yeah. hear it, you like it. You got to hear it before it came out. Yeah, yeah. I like that though. I like being mm-hmm. the first to hear people's yeah, shit. Right? Like, hey, I heard that shit before you heard it, bitch. Sound like a <laughs> exactly, rider passes. Exactly, and you can tell your friends. You can tell yeah. your friends. I felt the same way about mad music back in the day. See it at like six thousand views. I think it's yeah. hard as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> all your friends are singing it like excited. a month later. The shit's at 25 million views. You're like, how the hell did that happen? <laughs> mm-hmm. and, right, that's, that's what happened with Russ, that What yep. They Want song, bro. 
back in the fucking day and fucking um, Shmino or whatever too. Mm-hmm. You know Shmino? Mm-mm. No, um, uh, what's it? Caroline? Bad oh, thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. funny shit, yeah. okay. dig as fuck. You know M-A-M-A, what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah, that song like that was so <laughs> low that when I first saw the views on that, it was yeah. like twenty thousand probably. Mm-hmm. And it was like that for like a week, maybe two weeks, and then the shit just went nuts. Yeah. And then he's he's been a star ever since, bro. Yeah. He's been a freaking absolute, you know, not he's not the biggest. I don't think he's the biggest, but yeah, everything he that he does, his following, though. yeah, yeah. He everything that he does is like you know, and he's stuck to his fucking yeah. guns. With That's it. a good thing about music nowadays. Too. He's talented. He's got he's got a lot of th- he's got yeah. a lot. You get of good a following, you make that money, yeah. boo. That's a good thing about <laughs> nowadays. Like as long as you get like a good solid. Following, you ain't even gotta have like millions, so just a solid following. Solid following. Well, there's you can rappers make a good living, that live in their home cities that just do shows in their own city, yeah. and they make more money than all these guys that go big and do all their, all the Billboard stuff and all that yeah, stuff. They, they only have one song, shit. two songs that make it to to this or that. But these guys are selling out shows yeah. every weekend, every single yeah. weekend. They're and making they don't mad owe money. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. It is really crazy. It is really crazy out there, man. Yeah. All right. Well, we about to get into the second track. What's, what track you want to play out of the two that's left? Uh, let's, let's play Player. Player? Yeah. Player, Player from the Himalaya. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm a player, and I'm playing just to play. You listen to WKMTDB, the great old film. You, you in the cloud show and stuff like that. <laughs> no, okay, no, Ozzy Osbourne, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, what the heck is happening, bro? Yeah, 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 yeah
No, 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 no. <laughs> See, <laughs> y'all are going to laugh. Everybody that knows what they're talking about, I don't know South what they're talking Park, about. South Park, baby. No, no, no. All right. <laughs> what are you talking about, know. Terrence? Because I don't know. <laughs> oh. Oh. Terrence and Phillip. Uh, Terrence and Phillip, yeah. man. South Park, man. They, I don't know why they do the Canadians with the fucking open mouth. It's funny, though. <laughs> For real, why, they, funny, do like, why that? they do that? That's the pure fact of f- just comedy, man, straight Propaganda, up. Funny. It's like yeah. they're different than us. We're going to make them different in some sort of way. <laughs> right. And man, this is funny. No, <laughs> you know, actually, like, when I first started watching that shit, I was like, bro, why they draw Canadians like that? Because, you yeah. know, I see Canadians, yeah. regular people, like, bro. Like, what's the beef that Americans got with For Canadians? <laughs> they got some issue with Canadians. <laughs> like, what's the beef? Nah, we're just like, we're your, like, the little brother, you know? Mm-hmm. Canada's the, like, the like, we get picked on. It's mm-hmm. like, the little brother. We have less population. We've got less, like, you know. Y'all just be vibing, though. That's what people, that's yeah, what probably people, everybody we hate. chilling, absolutely, but it's cold. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Cool. So yeah, we're chilling. So, he for said real. that with a lot of sincerity. Yeah. Yeah. It's cold, man. It's it's cold. Cold. By 60 degrees in June. Baby. We're chilling, man. Like, we stay inside pretty relaxed. We smoke a lot of weed. It's, you know, it's pretty sweet. It's legal. Yeah, yeah legal. Over. Incredible. That one thing yeah. about Canada, Canada is like a blue country, but it's not a blue state, but it's a blue country. Yeah, it's beautiful. It really is. Really is, and w- once I moved here, and I've been here for years, you mm-hmm. know, coming back and forth. I I used to hate. Like, I feel like a lot of people end up hating where they come from, you know, not hating it, but wanting to leave it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Get somewhere yeah. new and try something yeah. else. I I have a lot more respect after I left. You yeah, because you I miss home. Man, yeah. I'm not even just missing home. I'm just like, damn, America is is different. It's a different. It's a whole right. different ball game. Yeah. Like when you're in Canada, you can go to the grocery store and you don't got to worry about who you say hi to. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. straight up. You don't have to... You could piss somebody off here and fucking... They could say that you have approached them and fucking tried to, <laughs> tried to fuck yeah. them up and they could yeah, shoot, shoot you, you. and yeah. get away with it, potentially, yeah. if there's yeah. no camera. Especially you know in what Florida. I'm saying? Like, it's like... Especially Florida. Yeah. <laughs> Stand your ground, baby. Yeah. In Canada, yeah. it's just like you feel like you can leave your door unlocked. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. straight up. And that... I don't know... like. That's a that's a feeling that people fucking pay for, bro. That out probably, here, like out here, you'll pay millions of dollars to feel like you don't have to lock your goddamn shit, door. Yeah, I don't never feel you like know that. What I'm saying I'm American to the bone, but I'm locking my door every night. Bro, bro. Say, bro. Say, I don't man, care where I live at. Say you All live my at, straps got lasers and tactical right, lights. Right. Bro. I mean, like <laughs> cool. you live in like a gated community or some shit, or you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like yeah. these rich people, like they don't gotta lock their door. There's yeah. people watching their fucking house 24 seven. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, I ain't gonna. I shouldn't that say these the, rich people. That's not the. That's not what I'm trying. That to probably say. what the beef to... is with uh, South Park. They feel like y'all too uh, hunky dory. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Like, yeah everything's you just know, a lot chiller over there because great. we don't have it the same way. You guys have it worse in in a lot of ways. There's, yep. you know, it's more industrial here. Like everyone's mm. fighting. It's a lot more doggy dog. Like in Canada. It's more like, yo, that's like, you know, let me help a brother out type shit. And don't get me wrong, there's still bad people in Canada. There's tons of people in Canada that that love America and they love the idea and the idealisms that America has, the gun Mm -hmm. laws, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. They just want to come out here and live like that. And they think that they can come out here and live recklessly. And that's Mm -hmm. not true either. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? You come out here and live recklessly, you're going to get a bullet by a civilian. Exactly. Exactly. This is crazy out here. So it's all misconstrued. Like, you know, I think a lot of people in America have Canada misconstrued and a lot of people in Canada have America misconstrued like it's not mm-hmm. you know you don't know unless you really live and are from somewhere that you know you're not going to know the the roots and the heritage of like your country like yeah. the way that people act because mm-hmm. right now we're creating heritage we're creating roots right now you know what I'm saying this is new fucking like <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying like we are the fucking people so it's so well, it's not fun, like an international area, bro. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It is. Yeah. yeah it's a, oh, dude, here is the, more than anywhere. I've never seen. But it's it. the I mean, move. Like this this the move everywhere. right now for the music scene yeah. when it's hip hop. Broward County, actually, not even Miami. It's Broward yeah. County. Yeah, it's popping out here. It's been mm-hmm. popping out here. All these crazy artists. It's been happening for years. Mm-hmm. Hey, shout out to Bray. Bray. Bray gonna perform at um Operation Food for Haiti. Hey. May twenty first. So <laughs> Saturday, make sure y'all go get, get y'all tickets VIP, mm-hmm. all that stuff. Uh, our artist slots are filled up, but we still have vendor slots available for y'all if y'all ready to you know come sell some things at our event. 
All right, so we about to get into the third track. What's the name of it? Uh, Sour. Sour. Sour this is a special one for everybody. This one's uh, you don't hear this one time, one time only right now until it's out. Let's go. In the clouds. Yeah. Yes, sir. You know, I'm feeling good. How'd y'all feel about Sour, man? I hope y'all like that track. It's one of my favorite. That's a that's a song. That song's about drugs, obviously. But uh, you know, the fun you could have with drugs, but then it's a you know, it's all good until until the until something goes down, right? Until it gets yeah. worse or something bad happens. <laughs> you know? I do there's a you line that, in there. Guys. There's a line in there that says everything was good until the lights went out. Yo. You know what I'm saying? And that's facts, bro. That's right, guys. You know, right, that's guys. what it gets into that fucking... You're, doing, you're sniffing the snow. You're sipping powder. And Drug you're responsibly. You're chasing that fucking high. <laughs> what Drug do they call responsibly. It? They're chasing the red dragon. No, what the fuck is it called, bro? Is that heroin? I don't know. <laughs> but, oh, they used to call that But honor, basically, though. it's a song about addiction and, and trying to get, you know, you know, peacefully get rid of it and still, you know, accept that you've gone through... He does earth. Herbs. He does earth. Like marijuana. Mushrooms. I'm a spirit guy. I'll fuck with acid, bro. I was a shaman in my past, past life. Mm-hmm. 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 Hey, but um, what do you, what's your plans for the future? Well, right now, <laughs> if I had to be completely honest, I wish I could just drop. No, nah, not everything, but, what like, you to. 15, 20 songs, like, you know, in the next couple of months type deal, but it, it ain't like that. I'm trying to move properly in this game. It's not easy. Um, there's a lot of really talented artists that don't get their music heard because they don't do things properly, so right now I'm just trying to make sure that I do everything properly, hit them with the hardest music that I can, hit y'all with the hardest music that I can, and entertain and how, to a point. How is it being? How is it being on the label? It's pretty sweet. I mean, for the like, you know, for the. Uh no, I don't feel like I lack freedom at all. I, I you know I have the creativity and, uh, you know, all of, I can make whatever I want. The reason I'm so versatile is because I've been able to, you know, pitch. I mean, hit that. Anyways, been able to pitch certain songs like newer, you know, newer ideas and stuff like that, and then not be turned down and have them, you know, be brought to the table for the idea of them even being brought out. A lot of people don't have the type of guidance that I have either, which is extremely fucking important when it comes down to dropping music. You wanna, you wanna have, um, you wanna have some good ears hear that stuff before you do it. So. But to all the like, you know, to all the independent artists out there, like, you know, it, being signed isn't much different than being independent. You still have to promote yourself, and you're the only one that's gonna make it happen for yourself, anyways. You know, they're just putting something behind you. They're putting a, a label behind you or a name behind you, but you're the only person that can actually make it happen. So, mm-hmm. if you had the money, see a lot of these artists that are so talented and stuff like that. The, the only problem is, is they don't have the money to promote the music that they they don't have the money. And if you don't have the money to make the money, then you're fucked. I'm so, and it sucks. It sucks. There's, 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 there's ways, but it, you know, you gotta know somebody. You have to know somebody. You gotta have like, like for for instance, like say you knew Adam Twenty Two from back in high school or some shit, and you had some artist that who was your, you're an A and R. And you have some artist, you knew Adam 22 from back in high school, you're buddies. You could hit him up or something like that. Like, that shit happens. You know what mm. I'm saying? Like, fucking, you gotta have, like, some network sort of connection. If you don't got, if you have no budget, you, you gotta have a connection. You gotta network. You gotta be in people's faces. Mm-hmm. But it costs to get in people's faces nowadays. You know how fuck ads, you know how much an ad costs? On fucking sports, fucking television and broadcasting and stuff like that, we are on our phones more than TV. So an ad on TV, I mean on Instagram, should cost more than an ad on television nowadays. And it, I'm pretty sure it does mm-hmm. to reach a certain amount of fucking audience and like you know do the same things that exactly. So it's man, 
if you're not world, sure. right, if you had a song that's good enough and you felt like, hey, I need to blast this, I need to send it to everybody, and it needs to be on everyone's Instagram page so they can mm. decide if they like this or not. Yeah. Like that's gonna cost you. Like, I'm not, I, we're not gonna get in the figures yeah. and stuff like that. That's gonna cost you fucking money, man. Mm. And if you don't have it, then your song's gonna sit, it's gonna dry out, and the only people that are gonna love it are gonna be the people that heard it and tried to spread it word of mouth. But mm. it's just this is such a saturated industry. We consume things fast as fuck. Mm. It's Insane, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah, everybody in mama rap, man. Yeah, but hey, I remember a few years ago, bro. That was when they got cut out, get on my beat. This is old head, bro. Mm-hmm. And I had to, um, I used to keep telling, them, like, nah, nah, like, you know, I can't give you guys no beats. But this nigga was probably like over 45, bro. And this nigga just keep rapping about his. Mean ass baby mama. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I swear to God, uh, and this nigga had a cool ass, like dark, deep ass voice. Like this nigga would be like, you know, I'm out here I'm trying to grind, but my baby mama on my mind. She won't let me see the kids. Why she won't let me shine? Like, like you know, so, <laughs> I can't stand my baby mama. Like, and that'd be every <laughs> single track, every goddamn track. This nigga talking about his baby mama. I'm trying to get on the road. He's got a story to, to tell, bro. Shows. But my motherfucking baby mama keep me all broke. Like, like, like damn, bitch. Like, <laughs> nigga, give me some substance, nigga. Fuck your baby mama. You trying to vent, cuz? <laughs> this nigga trying to vent on the mic, bro. This nigga even trying to make it. Got a story to tell, bro. Got a story to tell, bro. That's funny. Hey man, you can find me at Young Bray on uh, all music platforms, all streaming platforms on Instagram. I'm at Bray Official. Uh, but it's Young Bray, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that, anything that you can find me on. Young Bray, Bray Official, thank you so much for having me. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, yeah, appreciate you coming, fam. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know, it's always good vibes. I hope you come back soon. You know what I'm saying? I like popping out. Y'all already know. Mm-hmm. That was Young Bray, by the way. But y'all already know he's going to be performing at the... Oh, shit. He's going to be performing at the... The Operation Food for Haiti. So make sure y'all go get y'all tickets, y'all VIP, all that shit. You feel me? And we gonna uh, make sure y'all, we gonna add them to our uh, Spotify playlist. Make sure y'all follow In The Clouds show on all platforms. Visit intheclouds.world to get your tickets and um, for the show. And um, yeah, I'll see y'all at the show. Y'all better sh- show up at the show. Man, y'all better get them VIP tickets. I, I tell y'all every week. We gonna have them babies back there. It's man. worth it, bro. We gonna have them babies back there, and we got a little food. We got a little food that come with the package. You little mac and cheese, mac and huh? cheese. And you get. I just said how you get a VIP ticket. You go to, uh, in the cloud in the clouds dot world or in, our event bright in the clouds uh, show, I believe. Uh, Operation, Haiti. Operation Haiti. Okay. Uh, and, and, okay. We just we just, just go to our website in clouds dot world. We out this bitch. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Hey.